Welcome to the spoken tutorial on RTO timer instruction. In this tutorial, we will learn about working of retentive delay turn on timer. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 18.04 operating system, LD Micro, Open PLC main board, 24 volt 2 ampere SMPS, USB ASP programmer, traffic light module, and switchboard module. To follow this tutorial, you should know the working of a contact and a coil. If not, please refer to the relevant tutorials in this series on this website. Connect SMPS and USB ASP to the main board as shown in the picture. Keep these connections throughout this tutorial. Let us open LD Micro. Insert a contact and a coil as shown. Rename the contact as switch. Then rename the coil as LED. We will now add a retentive delay turn on timer to the right of X switch. For that, place the cursor to the right of X switch. Click on instructions, then timers and then insert RTO. Rename it as RTO and enter the delay as 5 seconds. Note that the name will be prefixed by T by default. Click the OK button. We will now check the working of this logic. Let us turn on the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then on simulation mode. Next. Start real-time simulation as shown. Initially, the state of X switch, Y LED and T RTO are 0. Double click on X switch to change its state to 1. We can observe the state of T RTO is 20 milliseconds. Within 5 seconds, change the state of X switch back to 0. We can observe that the state of TRTO doesn't go to zero. Instead, it shows the accumulated delay value just before X switch is zero. Change the state of X switch to one. We can observe that the timer starts. The count starts from where it was before and not from zero. After five seconds, the state of Y LED changes to one TRTO two. 4.990 seconds. Now, change the state of X switch to 0. We can observe neither Y LED nor TRTO changes its state. This is because the RTO timer retains its state when X switch turns to 0. Thus, it must be reset manually using the reset instruction. We will now see how to reset. Now, turn off the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then on halt simulation. Then click simulate, simulation mode. Insert a run below. Place a contact and reset instruction in the new run as shown. Rename the contact as reset. Now, double click on reset instruction. Under the column type, we can find two options, timer and counter. That means with this instruction, we can reset only timer and counter variables. By default, it is set to timers. Don't change it. The name should be the name of the timer variable that needs to be reset. So type RTO. Click the OK button. Start real-time simulation as shown. Change the state of X switch to 1. After 5 seconds, the state of TRTO changes to 4.990 seconds. Change the state of X switch back to 0. Now, 
change the state of X reset to 1. We can observe the timer TRTO reset. Turn off the simulation mode as shown. Now, let us compile the logic. The detailed steps on how to compile and save the logic are explained in the earlier tutorials. Click on settings and select the microcontroller AVR 8 Mega 16 40 PDIP. Adjust its parameters as shown here. Assign pin PC0 to X switch and PC1 to X reset. Assign pin PA0 to Y LED. Compile the logic as RTO.hex. Save the ladder diagram as RTO.LD. Now, we will see the working of this logic on hardware. Connect the mainboard to your laptop using USB AST. Turn on the power supply. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T keys simultaneously. Go to the folder where you have saved the hex file. Type the command as shown to upload the hex file to the mainboard. Turn off the power supply. Remove the USB ASP connection from the laptop. This will prevent any hardware damage. Let us see the connection details now. Connect ground pin of the red LED of traffic light module to ground of the main board. Then connect plus 5 volt pin of the red LED to PAO0 pin of the main board. Connect ground and 5 volts of switchboard to Ground and 5 volts of the main board respectively. Connect NO1 to PC0 of the main board. Then connect NO2 to PC1 of the main board. Make the connections as shown in the picture. After making all the connections properly, turn on the power supply. Initially, the red LED will not glow. Press the switch NO1. Remember, NO1 should be pressed for at least 5 seconds for LED to turn on. The red LED should turn on 5 seconds after the NO1 is pressed. Once we release the NO1, it does not turn off the red LED. For that, we need to press the switch NO2. Thus, an RTO timer retains the accumulated value even after the switch is released. Turn off the power supply. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned about working of retentive delay turn on timer. Here are some self assessment questions for you. First, reset instruction is used with dash. The options are RTO timer. T on timer, T off timer, all of this. Second, an RTO timer retains the present accumulated value when the rung goes false. True or false. Third, what timer instruction would be best suited for the below process? Track the time to make a product. It needs to track even if the process is halted and then started again. The options are T on, T off, RTO. Now, let us look at the answers. The answer to the first question is RTO timer. The answer to the second question is true. The answer to the third question is RTO. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. 
Do you have any general or technical questions on Open PLC? Please visit the FOSI forum and post your question. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSI, Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. This is Harsha Priyanka from FOSI T, signing off. Thanks for watching.